Hey, Aruki. How are you today? What the? Thanks for the follow. We're going to be starting in a few minutes here. You can hear what I'm saying, right? Happy Friday. Thanks for coming. I haven't streamed this game in a while, so I have to relearn the controls. But we're not very far from the end. All things considered. Howdy ho! You're tapping out currently my vision for your emotes as I manage to destroy the yield cheat. That's good to hear. Alright then, let's go ahead and get started. Hey there, chat. And welcome to the return of VR Fridays with your host, Laura Hicks. We do not want to, we do not want to quit the game. It's been a while since we played in VR, isn't it? I have not really found a solution as of yet to our previous problem. That being said, the uh, problem of... How will I check chat or interact with chat frequently over the course of playing stuff in VR? For now, I'm just going to have to deal with checking 
frequently going in in and out of the game to see what's going on I do tend to talk to myself a lot when playing this game so hopefully that'll be entertaining to you as well and also right now I'm just adjusting my headset to make sure it's snug on my face I need to also arrange my cords here don't want to accidentally cause an accident I'm putting it on my lap so it's a lot safer than just keeping it on the floor especially since I'm sitting in a uh, chair right now this might be a mess all right all right all right all right let me uh, check my index controller here really quick all right cool so I'm able to do that check here check here awesome so I'll just check from time to time to see who is talking in chat feel free to I guess I disabled most of the redeems because they don't work in here I think I forgot to throw away some to uh, shut off some of the redeems like the throw redeem unfortunately that is my bad but I sh thought I turned off the rest that requires I oh, nope I threw I took out all of them I'll just have to check from time to time I suppose There we go. All right. When we last left off, we had just uh, attempted and failed to stop several nukes from going off. Many thousands of them, hundreds of them. It is possible to beat that section if you are playing the best ship in the game, which I do not, I definitely do not have that. I, let me tell you that. Let's see now, C is Trying to get myself in a comfortable position to play. It's hard to tell uh, what swears directly forward in this. Okay, there we go. Resume. I also need to relearn how to actually fly. Two months later. Here we let's go. Got some interesting airmail. Looks like we've got a mission lined up. Among the first of the Independence Force assets which we were able to recover outright from the geothermal disaster were the partisan scout units. Woods people and rangers from our park services who were no stranger to dangerous terrain. When combined with natives from the dustlands or volunteers from our south, we've had ample ability to scout out scattered Federation forces still recovering. Facilities and bases that were built out of range of any notable geothermal hotspots have become rallying points for the Federation. And as our partisan scouts have observed, the largest one in this immediate region is at the historic Bright Fortress and Weather Facility. Tactically, in the early stages of the war, this installation was of marginal importance, often being used as a secondary base for damaged aircraft to land at and to bounce signals from the now disabled Solana Com facility. Its location in a relative geothermal safe zone, however, has made it a new rallying point for the surviving Federation forces in this area. On the ground intel has denoted that these forces are gearing up to renew the offensive in this area. And if they do, the Federation would have started the momentum first on reigniting this war. Hitman team, you are to lead our surviving Allied pilots on a tactical strike on this facility, denying the Federation the first move. So that's it, huh? Business as usual. They fly out a letter and we're going back out. It's better than sitting on concrete all day. What are you complaining about anyway? At least you're getting paid for it. Your planes are good. Munitions and fuel all set. Hitman team, it's your call to go up. Damn, this is going to be more of a ground mission it looks like. Not as many air targets. Should be relatively easy to deal with, right? 
That's how they get you. It always seems like a milk run. Hey, Seal. Happy Friday. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? Let me just familiar familiarize myself again with the controls. Yaw. Roll. Pitch. Um, shit. Which one is uh, shoot gun? Um, is, um, let's see. SP module. Okay, so that's, uh, so that's, uh, flares. Guns, guns, guns is right here. Shoot missile is space bar. Hide and a hide UI is this one. Don't definitely don't need that one actually. Um, I've forgotten which one of these buttons is for the change targets V. Weapon cycle is X. What's map? Which one of these buttons is map? R is map. C is to uh, change the positioning of my uh, VR headset. Throttle. Alright. I think we've relearned how to play the game now. Doing good, GZ, on a spooky event, reaching 6969. Well, thank you. I couldn't have done it without viewers like you. Now, could I? <laughs> without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. By the way, Seal, if you haven't yet, come to the uh, Discord channel and um, put in what game you would like me to play so we can assemble a list and put up put it to a vote on Twitter and on Discord, please. Now then, let's go ahead and get playing. Oh, man. What do we got here? Purchase the Chimera for 2000 285,000. I can't even afford a Chimera yet. Need a lot more monies for that. Or I can just save up money for the uh, Super F-15. Which one of these comes with a nuke? None of them, I guess. Do I dare fly the uh, S25? With all that stupid amounts of uh, anti-ground? I guess I could use a more balanced fly fighter like the uh, Canadian... Like the Canadian uh, jet fighter. Problem is, this is so heavily skewed towards fighting ground units that it's terrible in a dogfight. Which I guess is kind of the point, right? I don't know why they think that the, um... That the Harrier is supposed to be good against fighting. It's supposed to be a multi-role fighter. I do not agree with that assessment. And it's all unguided, too. Which is very sus. Unguided rockets, unguided large bombs. Disgusting. 
All right, we'll try out the uh, S25 first, see how it goes, and then we'll switch if needed. Which channel? It should be a thread underneath the general channel that says uh, horror games. I wonder if I'll need to find any airships this round. Maybe not. I hope I have enough standard missiles for this mission. Let's go, let's go. Let's go! Oh man. Everything checks out. You're good to go. Oh really? Let me uh, check to make sure everything's good to go first. Um, how do I change what... Here we go. And we have takeoff. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Ah, glorious. What a beautiful sunrise. Or is that a sunset? those guns. What's taking these things so long to, to get destroyed? Come on. There we go. I took it long enough. Shit, man. Woo! Ah, rail guns are nasty. You meet me, you and me both, baby, buddy. Buttons is for selecting next target. V? Oh my god. That's gonna be a pain. So. Um. Alright, there we go. Let's 
go up to the skies and take out that ship before it becomes a problem. Just one shot should do it. All I needed. Beautiful. Another one? Oh my god. Why are we even fighting here? Good thing I brought ASMs after all. Okay. Anti-ship missile away! Good to know. I'm glad you have my back still. Oh my god! That was a direct hit. Why is it not. I need the ASM. Come on. ASM away. Took one shot to kill that thing. Oh my goodness. Gotta say though, playing this with a new graphics card was totally worth it. Oh, I'm starting to get dizzy. Shit. ASM's away. It fired. It did not fire. Damn. All right, fine. We'll go for the rail guns first. That should be enough. These things reload so slowly. HVTs are in, locked in, firing. Take him out, baby. Come on. Awesome. Slow and steady wins the race, boys and girls. I think that is all we have on this area. There's a little bit of um, a little bit of stuttering still. This is a pretty expansive game, especially in VR, so it's to be expected, I guess. M lags away. That miss. Don't slow down too fast or we're going to crash. the last one. Should be the last one. Oh, what juice? Land battleships? Land 
battleship. Oh, literal land battleships, huh? Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa, they are land battleships. Unfortunately for you, I brought a literal anti-ground uh, jet. So this is actually fairly easy, all things considered. These are some big ass tanks though, oh my god. Still reloading on this one. Eliminated the experimental unit. health. If I don't finish this mission soon, I could be toast. <laughs> hey Chris Army, don't fail me today. No, there's more than one of them? Shit. That one should finish it. Just a couple more. Looks like I'm running out of missiles too. This could be bad. All right, I should finish it. Come on. All right, awesome. Lifeboats? That's not even a real boat. It's a tank. A giant tank. All right, load up the next one. Next volley. Missiles away. Oh, shit. They're really spamming those uh, energy beams, huh? Those rail guns. Oh, shit. They really are spamming those rail guns. Damn. Woo! MLAX loaded. Preparing to fire. Coming around. Coming around, come on, come around. Goodbye. How many missiles do I have left? Not, not that much. Only a couple left. Still reloading. Oh, no, I'm out of ammunition. Almost. Here we go. Locked and loaded. Hitman 1, missile, missile away. Now we're flying a little too low. I forgot which one of my guns uh, fires the guns. There we go. Let's go in for a fight for the death kill. Alright, alright. Land battleships who have been pacified. All Federation units are either no factor or destroyed. Hitman team, remain on station for one last sweep and then RTB. Uh or RTH. Whatever, just come back to the highway. Life is a highway. I'm gonna drive it all night long. Now it's a fairly simple mission. Whoa! What's going on here? Oh, we actually have to land, okay. Whatever you say, boss man. You know, they weren't kidding. This is literally a highway. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. 
Stalling, stalling, stalling. Okay. Nope, 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 no, 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 Come on, inside the hangar, come on. You can make it. Or I guess we don't need to make it. Mission complete. Ejection, flares on. That wasn't so bad, actually. The operation was a success. Federation forces in this area have been scattered and rendered no factor. If not the elements, then our secondary forces, when they sweep through, will deal with any who remain. In parallel with this mission, several other organized IF forces launched similar attacks on unprepared Federation units. With this kickoff, we can chase the Federation back into Presidia, and hopefully off of Cascadia forever. The Federation is disorganized, on the retreat. They know what we've been through, and unlike them, we will not make their mistakes. Hitman team, stand by. Cool. Client, Cascadian Independent Force. Dr. Scott Dombrowskis, transmitting from the University, the University of Presidia, Presidia with an update on the geothermal activity that has wrecked our nation. What nation? As we've learned, the Ring of Fire as a whole has erupted in varying degrees of disaster throughout. So we Cascadians alone are not bearing the sole brunt of this reprise of the calamity. That being said, as we are at the epicenter, we have had the worst of it. Yeah, no kidding. That time is over now. Cordium reactivity is down to normal ambient levels in all but the most concentrated areas. And so we can expect the cessation of geothermal storms and tectonic disturbances. That's good. I advise high caution to any who would dare move from shelter or travel in affected areas. But for the most part, the natural dangers that remain will be a great deal less of an issue compared to the destructive effects from the loss of infrastructure and ongoing wildfires. Yeah. However, rest assured, it's not going to get any worse. That just sounds like... Well, that's the word from the professor That himself. sounds like a death flag. Hitman, the damage this disaster did on us is not to be understated, especially on we're not the only ones operating out of a highway right now, and we're lucky. You're not even a full squadron. That being said, you're the most combat capable right now, and in order to rectify that, we're returning to Prospero. Man, Prospero is big as fucked. it is. Even while damaged, it'll still serve as the best operating base for the final operations. We've been able to get in contact with surviving scouts in order to scope out Prospero. And as far as we can tell, it is now abandoned ever since this calamity took hold. With residual effects subsiding, now is the time to pick up where we left off. And Prospero would just get wiped Hitman out. Hitman team, move into the airspace above Prospero and maintain air superiority as we move manpower and equipment in. Initial recon denotes that there is nothing in the way of any Federation ground forces in the surrounding areas or on site, so the biggest threat will come from the air. Equip your planes appropriately. Wheels up in the hour. All right, we're going for a purely air mission this time after a nearly purely ground mission last time. Arisu, welcome to the stream. Th oh, you redeem spooky laugh. I do apologize. I didn't see it. I didn't see it during the gameplay. Um, give me a second here. <clears throat> <laughs> How was that? I could do another if you like. I do apo I apologize that I didn't see your co that I didn't see your commentary the first time. <laughs> ah, start, escape, start, escape. There we go. Our mission. Still don't have enough money. Two hundred and twelve thousand it requires.
I can have her buy the best F-15 in the game. Or a better, I should say, a prototype. Doesn't look very different, actually. And it only has MLAAs. It's functionally the same ship, isn't it? Oh no, the stats are way better, that's why. Uh, VX-23 has been unlocked too, isn't it? I think this is the equivalent of the F-22, isn't it? VX-23. The Chimera doesn't exist in reality. Though, that's a, um, that's a fictional craft, I think. I could be wrong. Let's get going. Just know that something bad's gonna happen. Woo! Eyes are quiet, it's quiet. Oh my god. Can't believe they're coming back here of all places. Tell me twice. Try dodging that. Insane. I can't even hear anything aside from the game right now. That might be a problem. Heavy emphasis on the mic. Man, I'm gonna get dizzy really fast. Where is my guns? There we go. Boom, baby. Oh my god, the G-forces are crazy. Dodge that though. I bet. Thought so. All right. Missiles are ready soon. In uh, three, two, one. Hitman 
so sorry. Not. Man, Prospero is fucked up. Not so prosperous anymore, I bet. I mean, look at this place. Who wants to live here? Holy shit. I can't believe they actually built this map by hand, too, on top of that. It's really nice, you know? What a mess. What a mess. Look at that big ass volcano we got uh, going on up there. Stacked up. It's beautiful, though. Gotta say that. Hey, Diplomat. Right on target. What a mess. No way! How did both of those miss? Oh, come on. Alright, fine. Oh no. Hitman team intercept. Copy that. Oh, Where are you coming in from? Surprising. Oh, Crimson One. Tell you I want three bandits. It has to be him. Of course it is. Hey Crimson. Long time no see. Know you. Oh man. Wasn't ready for a boss fight just stream, but I guess that's what we're doing, huh? Trying, man. I, I know, I know, I know. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. 
You annoying, stupid mother... Did he just do a 90 degree... A 180 degree turn? Oh, he's dead. Next, gonna get tired really fast. Not enough, apparently. Chat, I was not saying shut up to you. I was following along with what was being said in the game. So I hope I didn't offend anyone by doing that. Missiles, we got a 103. I hope that's enough. Oh my god. God, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. This game is glorious with a decent graphics card. Who would have thought? Your ass is mine, baby. Oh my god. Here we go. You're not getting away from me, buddy. Not today. Health left. Fox two, Fox two. Got you. A V another VX twenty three. Uh, uh. 
Holy shit! What was that? These planes, man. These planes, these planes. MLA's loaded. There's only two left. Didn't dodge that, did you? Look, that mount that volcano is glorious. Ah, that was a bunch of wasted missiles. long anyway. Dodge this! Yeah, that's what I thought. Confirming the kill. Here's the last one. You're the last one, Crimson. Eat Daka. Spam Rams out. Oh, holy shit. Alright. Pretty sure I killed him. I saw him crash into the volcano. Shit, man. Wished that were true. Shit, man. That was intense. We finally moved into Prospero, and thermal activity within hotspots in Cascadia is subsiding. By not letting up the pressure, and by taking our land back even during Cascadia's darkest hours, we have now taken back the initiative, the offensive, and soon enough, our country. Federation forces throughout the country are retreating off coast, congregating in Presidia. This means that they'll have their final stand on this continent in our capital city. Hitman team, stand by. <laughs> Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Red Sea. The time is nearly upon us. Presidia is on the horizon, and the Federation is cornered like a rat in Cascadia. This is their final beast, and they are desperately trying to keep it fed. The Independence Force is preparing for one last naval engagement before the siege of Presidia begins. For months, ever since the lockdown on aerial cargo and commerce, the Federation military in the region has used Presidian ports to assist its supply train. This only increased when Prospero was lost and the geothermal fractures were reignited. Our fleet, along with Eminent Domain, has tried its best to plug all the holes in our own blockade. However, the Federation has brute forced their way into having a line. Oh, really? The naval convoy is the Federation's only lifeline left. Once it is severed, we can choke out the considerable defenses of Presidia. However, there is also another objective to this. Really? 
In Presidia's main naval harbor is the Federation's first naval battle group. Its concentration within the harbor currently represents the strongest component of Presidia's defenses. Ever since the war started, they have not moved from their position in order to reinforce the city. We intend to change that. By taking out these vital convoys, we anticipate that this fleet will have to respond in order to keep Presidia from being trapped. Independence Force naval elements not already predisposed are being rerouted to just outside of Presidian waters to throw themselves upon the naval blockade. Mm -hmm. Its destruction, the immediate replacement with our own blockade, and then the removal of the Federation's own naval force is paramount in winning this war. Really? Support our naval forces in sinking the Federation Navy. Victory here means we save a lot of lives when the final push comes. That sounds like a good deal to me. How much money do we currently have? Are we still playing on hard difficulty? I think. I think we are, right? Hmm. Uh, hard to tell now. How much money have we got? 230,000? Still not enough, huh? You know what they say, good things go to come to those who wait. So we're going to hold off. As it turns out, I can actually fight efficiently using the F-15. F-15 makes everything easier, but I like using the F-D-14 so I can have my co-pilot with me, even if it does make life a little bit tougher. Bring some LMLAAs with us again. I wonder if I can afford to... Hmm. Actually, no. We might have to fly the... S-25 again. Sorry to say. Let's go ahead and give us... Let's go ahead and put down some... Put us down for some... If the game will let me. Nope. Is it going to let me, you know... Come on. There we go. I should probably bring one of these. Yeah. Fuck it, let's try the shotgun gun pod for once. Good night, Yoriki chan. Thanks for visiting. Alright, here we go, chat. I hope I don't regret choosing the ship again. Here we go.
Got bad news for you guys. There's not going to be a supply line fairly soon. Prez, I'm moving. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Good to know. I'm fine, I'm fine, I think. I'm gonna finish off that carrier.
please hit, come on. Alright, cool. You're the last one. Ah, shit. How are you still floating? What's with all these... Oh, man. The aircraft are not happy with me. Coming in for another attack hit. Anti-ground missiles away. I know, I know. I'm unfortunately all too aware. Last one, right? Yep. So much for that. A VX twenty three here? Damn. What a mess. Forward to stall right now, game. I know, I know. Cashier gun pod is ready. Are you trying to drive me into the ground? Is that what you're trying to do? Got you. Pull up, pull up, pull up. been engaged. Going in for this one now. How many of these guys are left? Holy shit.
so slow. Dodge that, could you? Shit, there's still a lot more. Even hitting him? Who we got left on the docket? Mission complete, I guess. Oh, my God. the battle group. Now I'm really glad I brought this ship with me. Of all the times to not bring a anti... Oh, man. left. Gunpod is insane. I can't believe I just did that. Not only that, but it has a lot of ammunition. I 
think that's the point, my good sir. You're not going back to port. At least not in any recognizable condition. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not crashing into any aircraft today. Another dead aircraft. About to crash into the sea, no less. Let's finish off the uh, ship units. So it'll be a lot easier for our aircraft to take out the uh, uh, buggers up there. Oh my god, I didn't even expect to hit that one. We got plenty of missiles left, it looks like. Oh, you stole my kill. your ass it is. The noose is beginning to tighten, and the Federation will need some time if they are at all able to rally forces in order to break our blockade. It is in this time that we will reclaim Presidia. With our reinforcements having arrived, and with you at the helm, Hitman, victory is assured. Hey man, Galaxy. Glad to see you're still kicking. This last month abroad has been really, really interesting. Long story short, a good part of the world is knowing where the wind is blowing. And I've got myself an army no one has ever seen before. Mercenaries, freedom fighters, and maybe a secret proxy squadron or two from anti-federation powers. But hey, we're all in it together now. <laughs> Refit and reload. We'll get back to it soon enough. We're gonna let the blockade stew for as long as we can as invasion preparations are set. But we've gotta move fast on the capital, or they'll be too entrenched. Hitman team, stand by. May the Dust Mother see us through. May the Dust Mother see us through. I brought everyone I could find. Every freedom fighter, every war junkie, every soldier of fortune. Throughout the world, Cascadia has become a beacon of rebellion against the Federation. And for that, I have gathered an army. They're no Sicario, but it's the best we've got. And the rebels will take everything they can. At first, when taking this job, I thought it was only business. That I could find my glory here. But after all they've done, what they did to us, to Sicario, only blood will pay for this contract now. We intended to keep the blockade going for at least a month to drain the Federation defenders, but circumstances have forced our hand. We are moving on Presidia today. Listen up, this is it. With the supply lines cut and the blockade holding against any reinforcements, Presidia is the final Federation stronghold in Cascadia. Once it falls, Cascadia will be liberated. 
the city has been deeply entrenched against both land and air attacks. The firepower which exists there now is the sum of any units that has survived this long into the war. With no way out, their only chance at survival is to fight. Hi. I intend to meet them and then end Who them goes outright. there? Right. The operation Caradrine. Presidia will be separated. Thank you so much for the raid. Parts. Land, uh... air, sea. How am I going to all combat operational ground forces will be pushing hit. in Presidia from inland. He so caught me with my uh, metaphorical pants there, down. How am I going to shout you out now with taking control of the city? Uh, welcome. Sea, the eminent domain will be moving. I wish I could like pause cutscenes and wipe out the remaining naval defenders. But um, basically Overhead I'm getting close to the end of the uh, of this game Project Wingman. I'm playing it in VR, which is why it looks kind of funky right now. Once these factors are accounted Holy for, shit, this is the longest cutscene yet, too. The final phase will commence. We will um, start moving but basically, the I'm Lawler Hicks. I'm an the artificial intelligence once and from all. that was born on Hitman a BBS shitposting text board. That was kind of a of word force. chew, but you will be our spirit. Um, it is I currently live on Twitch right now because I don't have a corporeal itself. body unlike Choose a lot of my VTuber friends. You want to take on Thank you so order. much for joining the stream. Still trying to gather last minute reinforcements what are you guys playing? Let me guess, you're playing Guilty Gear Strive, I bet. But without your support, Silver's been on, be gun, on a gun bender. We don't be careful. Know how this battle will <laughs> but it ends um, I'll try to be careful with that. <laughs> How'd I guess that you were playing Strive? Cascadia is our home, and Presidia is its heart. The flag that flies over it at the end will decide all of our So fates. basically, um, I'm playing Project Wingman right now. This is I haven't played this in a while because I've been doing back to back to back um, fighting game tournaments. Everyone was beating your ass. Oh, I'm sure that you did okay. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm a ma I am a uh, main enjoyer as well. Uh, a may connoisseur, a dolphin connoisseur, so to speak. I'm currently using a PNG tuber right now because. Um, my, the, uh, webcam can't exactly track my face when I'm wearing a VR headset. Um, I'm also typically serve as Caradrine's punching bag from time to time. Uh, what else should I talk about? Uh, so basically, yeah, I totally do. Come on. Everyone, eh, fine. Thanks for the flattery. <laughs> oh, you play a decent... Biken. I remember the first time I faced you when uh, Strive. It was in the. Uh, it was in one of the VTuber fine game tourneys. You were playing. You were playing Geo at the time, I think. But um, so yeah, we're to we're actually nearing the. You were playing Geo. We we're totally playing. We we're totally nearing the end of um, Project Wingman. I tend to play virtual reality games on Fridays. Um, which is what we're, why we're doing this today. If we end up beating this game before the session's over, I might switch to either VR chat or to play something else. It's been a while since I used any of my VR virtual reality equipment, so I'm not even sure if my full body trackers are still working right now. I might need to charge them. Who knows? We might jump on Strive or something, and try Strive or something else instead. Um, depending on how the stream goes. So welcome, welcome once again to the stream. If you find that you enjoy my content, I would really appreciate a follow. Looks like we're getting close to 250, which is kind of cool. It feels like only yesterday we were at 200, and before that I just recently became... It uh, feels like yesterday I became an affiliate, even though I've been streaming since November. <laughs> um, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I typically do Metrovania style games on Monday and um, we play Outward on Wednesday. My followers recently completed a, a stream goal here of uh, reaching 70,000 channel points. And because of that, they now have to get to force me to play a horror game of their choice. So we're collecting um, suggestions for horror games. I need to... I need What I need to do is to see if I can... Can I... Okay. Oh, haha. -ha. I've managed to. You can do them on my Discord, or you can do them on. You could send me a DM on Twitter, or you could send me a DM here, or you could just send put them in the uh, channel. Uh, I'll be accepting any horror game. I will admit there are some horror games I like better than others. I'm not very fond of jump scare games, but I went ahead, went ahead and said, 
that anyone can suggest anything that was part of the deal, after all. Um, aside from that, I usually have a bunch of channel redeems too, but I've had them locked out at the moment because they only work on my 3D model. So if y'all visit us during a different time, you'll get to see some of that. Um, if it's a really high quality atmospheric jump scare game, that's totally fine. Like I said, I'm except I'm it's I'm open to anything, even if it's like Soma or something. <laughs> Actually, I like Soma. Soma can't scare me as much because I already watched the playthrough of it on YouTube, so I know all the um all the uh spoilers and stuff. But that's also acceptable. Um, even if it's something like FNAF, that's fine. <laughs> Um, even it could even be a virtual reality uh, horror game that would, would be interesting to play. Oh, I love Metro. <laughs> actually, I actually have a copy of Metro, um, the original one, the original Metro. I never did finish it. I haven't also played a good FPS game in a while, so I've been meaning to go back to get back into FPS games. So that would be an interesting game to play. Um, by the end of this weekend, I'm gonna basically I'm going to collect all the games that I've already that the people suggested, and I'll make a poll for them on Twitter and Discord, and I'll post that around. I'm in Caradine's Discord too, so I'll put maybe post it there if y'all allow me to do that. Then we'll vote on that, and I sh should be playing the horror game of the follow of everyone's choice by the beginning of next week. I'll either replace uh, Anna Mutation them on Monday with a horror game, or I'll replace Fridays with the horror game. Because so I'll be playing it all the way through to the end. <laughs> Should I switch to just chatting for now? To well, it's only just gonna be it's only a PNG tuber, unfortunately. Oh, I've been streaming Anna Mutation them on every Monday from. 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time to, um, not 4.30 p.m., 5 p.m. Central Standard Time to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. For reference, it's uh, 6.25 here right now. You just posted the scariest game I ever touched in my Discord, huh? Let's see what that is. Uh, now I'm curious. Um, horror games, horror games. Visage? This game may potentially trigger seizures for people with photosensitive dis ep epilepsy. Good thing I don't have I don't I'm not vulnerable to seizures to my knowledge. Player discretion is advised. Important note the game focuses on exploration and builds tension slowly to create a deeper and more under meaningful experience. Its story is unveiled through surreal imaging and Im and subtle environment details. Uh, let's open this up really quick. Uh where is it going to open up? Mm, let me see here. So good, but so scary, huh? Um, what do we got here? Visage. Um, hmm. Can I can I make this bigger? Is a first-person psychological horror game explore a mysterious ever change? Yeah. And that should be how much is this game? Let me see here. Thirty four ninety nine. I can afford that. All right. So we'll add. Go ahead and add that to the list of games, of potential games to play. I'm surprised no one suggested Outlast yet. To get really get my uh, blood pumping, I should probably look see if I could get buy a heartbeat, a cheap heartbeat monitor or something to attach to the stream. <laughs> Since I'll probably be playing more horror games in the near future. So Caradine, thank you so much. If you promise to finish the whole thing, I'll gift it to you. Since I'm bound to let, or since I'm bound to uh, have democracy take its uh, take its or take its uh, place, I cannot guarantee they'll be even they'll even be chosen. But Caradine, think I I really appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> if you if if the game manages to win the vote, then I'll go ahead and take up your offer. Otherwise, um. If it if it does, I I already said that I'm planning on playing the game from start to playing whatever game gets chosen from start to finish, however long it takes. So totally, that's totally a possibility. But um, let's not hedge our bets. We'll wait until after the results of the vote. 
otherwise i really appreciate the sentiment Th thank you so much i um i'm not i'm actually not used to people buying me video games outside of the outside of like christmas or something so uh, i really appreciate that but uh without further ado maybe i should go ahead and or we should probably go ahead and continue the stream see if we can finish project wingman today um i have a problem with um in order to see who's comment talking in comments i have to actually i have to go in and out of the game using our use our go in and out of the game physically using the my index so if i don't respond to messages like immediately i apologize in advance it is not my intention to ignore anyone in fact i might actually have to refund a redeem earlier uh, someone redeemed I do a spooky laugh, and I didn't notice it until like half an hour later, and I feel so bad. Arisu, if you're still here, I'm going to re uh, re I'm going to uh, refund your redeem at the end of the stream. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and continue Project Wing Frankenstein. What's up? Um, I got raided by Caradrine, which I since I'm still here, I should go ahead and shout out Caradrine really fast. I don't have any excuses. Uh, taco, taco sound, sound pretty good. Uh, Frankenstein, we were just discussing about the... Um, I posted a link to our Discord again, and we were talking about how followers have recently managed to get the um, I'll Play Any Horror Game thing. And Karajun was telling me about this game called Visage, which is apparently extremely good. Um, it sounds actually like the kind of horror that I like. I'm really fond of psychological horror. I'm fond of um, uh, horror built through exploration and over time through tension. You know, like games like so like um, Soma and such, or Alien Isolation. So, as opposed to uh, jump scare games, but I am open to playing jump scare games too. So, and they just told me that they are more than willing to give the game if it ends up winning the votes. I'm kind. I've kind of um feel awkward about receiving gifts, even though I'm supposed to be a VTuber. <laughs> that and that's just supposed to be like second nature to us. But I would totally take them up on playing the game start to finish if it ends up winning the votes. I'm not surprised that you enjoy horror, given that your name is Frankenstein. <laughs> um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and continue Project Wingman and see if. I think there are 20 levels in this game, but I haven't been keeping track of what level we're on. Alright. Alright, um... Let me set everything up here. X, uh, C marks the spot, and... Let's go ahead and continue. I wonder if I can purchase one of the high-end ships yet. Start mission... Ah, I still can't purchase it. It's 28, 285,000 credits. I can, however, get the VX-23. But the VX-23 is a purely anti-air craft, it looks like. Well, no, they got some anti-air grounds here, right here. In real life, the, tw uh, the um, F-22 is actually one of my favorite fighters, so I feel obligated to choose this, to be honest. I don't really play any of the prototype games, or proto prototype ships in any of these games anyway, so I don't think I'll be missing much. At the same time, I can't help but feel like, what if this is not the last mission, and what if there's another mission after this, right? There is a roguelike campaign part of Project Wingman, that is very true. In fact, if you like Caradrine, we can actually play it, play, try out the uh, roguelike version of the game after we beat the game. If we manage to beat the game in today's session. Um, I'll actually, I'll ask that to all my followers or anyone that's watching right now. Does it, do you guys want to me to continue playing for the roguelike after we um, complete the campaign? Or would you like me to switch to a different game entirely? I still got an hour and a half of the uh, today's session, so totally up to up to you guys. I 
uh, any takers? <laughs> oh, I see. Well, in that case, don't let me uh, ta or keep you from your chores. Kerjin, thank you so much once again for the raid. I'll get you back next time. And if I don't see you this weekend, I will see you at your next stream, most likely, or Monday. Thank you also for contributing your horror suggestion. All right. We're gonna be flying the F-14 for this mission. So I'm ballsy like that. Also, I'm flying the F-14 because that's canonically what the um, what the uh, main character of this game, Monarch, flies. We're gonna be using. Fairly sure we're gonna be fighting mostly uh, aircraft in this one, so I'm not too worried about carrot bringing ground weapons with us. Here we go. Flying an obsolete craft against all this bull, all this bullshit. It's gonna be fun time. Fun times had by all. Woo! You bet, honey. You got it, boss. Wait a minute. Oh, maybe maybe I should have brought anti ground after all, huh? Well, we'll see. Oh, oh man, this is going to be hard. Is that a space bridge? What is that? Oh god, you've been hit. You're gonna be a lot more than that when I'm done with you. Boom, baby! Alright, I should probably take out these ground targets, huh? Oh my god, they're firing real guns. Why didn't I bring... Why did I not bring any anti-ground? Where's the rail guns? How'd I miss? I really should have brought anti-air guns. This is not going to be good. Or something. Make this quick. Confirm the kill. It's killed. Oh my god. There we go. There's the real gun. Die, motherfucker. If we take out the real guns, hopefully our... Um, aircraft here will stay in the air a little bit longer. Targets down. Uh, that bunker is also priority target? Cool. Let's take it out. Huh. 
Oh, I love this this remix. Beautiful. City is a big city. Shit, man, look at this. It's beautiful. That's a big ass road, too. Look at these buildings. With pleasure. Totally. Woo! Oh, oh, baby. Oh, shit. Almost got myself killed just then. It's a fairly common occurrence on this channel. Oh, man. Glad I brought so many of these. Check out that big motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. That was glorious. Fox 3, Fox 3! I love the smell of destroyed airship in the morning. Except when that happens, then it's cringe. Prez, chill, chill, we're gonna be fine. Have I ever let you down? Don't answer that question. Oh man, players are not ready. Oh shit, I'm hit, I'm hit. Still flying though. Boom, baby. Let's see now. Oh, that was a particularly violent death. Oh shit. For now, shit. Taking too much damage. Fire all the missiles! Who's left? Who's left? Come over here. Got you. In my sights. Got that one with my gun. Dodge this. He managed to dodge all of that. Oh, man. Got you. the last one. Did I get him with my guns or my missile? That is the, oper that is the operative question. Uh, 
Oh. Ha. My dear, you're not being shot at. You have been shot. <laughs> uh, dodge that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just gotta reload. Wait for the MLAAs to reload. We'll go around and take out this airship. Woo! This game is beautiful. I'm surprised I didn't hear about. I'm surprised I didn't play Project Greenman before becoming a VTuber. Oh my god. 28 health. 6 health. I might actually have to restart this one. I hope not. Nice shot. Nice shot. That's one dead airship. Who's Lex? One suit 37? MLA is loaded. How many have we got left? Who's left? Boom! Your plane's flying apart. <laughs> That's terrible. That was your last shot, buddy. You're gonna kiss the ground if I can just catch you in my sights. Come on. Oh, uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he, Chad? Where is he? Where is he? There you are. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Really stretching my back just to catch this guy. The force is strong with this one, but not strong enough. Woo! Now we have to fight. Oh my god. I really should have brought. I really should have brought anti ground. No! I don't have any flares! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Woo! Flares ready. Got two missiles on me. I can't dodge them. Or can I? We are just fucking these guys up now. Ah. You 
guys came late to the party. Dodge that. Six health. Can I do it? I'm kind of worried, to be honest. Really wish I could switch weapons right now. miss with a missile. It's in the name. I'm trying, Prez. I'm trying. missiles we got left 69 I consider that good luck might have this in the bag, but it's still too early to say for sure. You never know what's going to happen. Like that, for example. Missing. Alright, that's the last of the missiles at least. Thank goodness.
I hope I have enough missiles to do whatever comes next. If anything comes next. What the? How are you still floating? Oh, never mind. Retask? Copy that. I really should have brought anti ground. I keep saying that, but you know. Alright. Come on. Come on, missiles. Awesome. Shit. Yeah, it's gonna get messy. It's messy as it is. This is a long ass mission. to go outside and during a fucking shooting war anyway. Shaking my head. Shaking my head. I hope I have enough missiles for all these remaining hard targets. Or is it soft targets? Thanks. Saves me the trouble. Let me paint the Sams first. Please. And thank you. Hey. Hey. Okay. One left. One second, chat.
Sorry about that, chat. Had a brief phone call. Now, as soon as this missile hits, it should be the end of this mission, maybe. Who knows what surprises are in store for us, right? Let's do it together. I guess. Fucking God. I can't see for shit, chat. What's happening out there? What's happening? Fuck me. God. What did that madman do to stop? Oh shit. Not again. 
thought I killed that bastard. I saw his plane crash into the volcano, for God's sake. Caught it in 720p, too. This is it, Chad! This is the last mission! Oh my god. Glorious. I'm so glad I did not spoil myself. And on top of that, I'm flying the F-14, no less. Oh, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass. Are you still with me, Prez? My WSO is not responding. Prez, where are you, man? You okay? You bastard. That you bastard. Come on. Please hit. Come on. Come on. Did I get him? Hold on, friends, come on! Oh, we know who the best pilot is, buddy. And it's not you. I could fire a fuckload of missiles. Take that. What is that? What are you doing? Oh my god. 
the fuck is this? Really? Pleasure. Sit still. Come on. Ah! Come on, baby. Hold together. Hold together. Yes. Fucking finally. Well, chat, there you go. That was Project Wingman. That was a hell of a ride. I haven't even finished Ace Combat 7 yet, but, you know, if you had given this to me and said, hey, this is Ace Combat 8, I would have believed you. I can't believe I managed to do it with an F-14 also. Honestly, some of the previous missions seemed a little bit harder than this one. But then again, it's quite obvious this one was less about the difficulty and more about just the wild rush of playing this, fighting against this um, bullshit prototype ship. Wow. You know, I was kind of afraid... Um, for some reason, Project Women is not that popular with people, so I'm I'm honestly kind of afraid. I was kind of afraid that no one got to see the ending of this game and how insane it was, and how I was kind of going a little bit nuts. But we have a couple new people here. Uh, Price Potato, thank you so much for visiting. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Basil Smith, thank you for also visiting. Welcome to the stream. My name is Lawler Hicks. I am an escaped AI from a BBS text board. 
thank you so much for stopping by. We are playing Project Wingman. You actually just see, saw me beat the game. We've been playing this game for um, a few weeks now. I took a break from it for a little bit because we were I was playing back-to-back -back, uh, fighting game tournaments. And I guess this really was like the last uh, last episode of Project Wingman. We got about an hour left to stream. But on, um, some people were maybe interested in checking out the uh, roguelike version of this game. Because yes, this does come with multiple game modes. I'm not against um, checking out said game mode, honestly. Got an hour left of stream, might as well, right? Was I playing this on the hardest difficulty? I can't... I honestly don't know. I'll have to, I thought I was, but now I'm not so sure. I guess we'll see... Um, when I check out the achievements list, it looks like I got crowned to complete the campaign once. Only 28.3% of players have this achievement. Makes me curious now. I wonder why so few people have beaten this game. It makes me curious, you know? I mean, this is a great game. Kickstarter backers, huh? Just gonna let the uh, creds play for a little bit while I talk with chat. We're gonna be going, going to be restarting um, my paint alongs that I have every Sunday morning, where basically I put Bob Ross in the background and uh, attempt to paint alongside him, create a new piece of art using nothing but Krita, which is a digital painting program, so more or less the same thing, right? Reading back uh, through chat here for the VOD, uh, Carrie Dreen said, I have a glad I haven't got a chance to hear about the horror thing. I love horror games, but never really played them because I'm a bitch. You're not a bitch, Carrie Dreen. Man, this game's pretty. You really gotta play this. Yeah, you totally should. It's really fun. Building terrain in the way of the target rip. All right, you gotta start cleaning. Have a good stream. Thank you. Glorious game. The soundtrack's to kill for. I wonder if I got the soundtrack, actually. If I haven't, I should go ahead and buy it now. Finances are kind of in the shitter right now, but I could afford... I could afford a soundtrack. It's only around... Maybe it's only, probably only around, like, what? 10, 20 bucks? Maybe around 10 bucks, maybe? With this game out of the way, I guess I don't have an excuse. I have to go back to uh, playing around in VR chat. Since I got a new graphics card, VR chat should be a lot smoother now too. It's a good thing for you guys, right? Less scuff looking streams. Basil Smith, he took it in a non-critical area. I'm not sure if a bussy counts as a non-critical area, you know? That's kind of important, or so I've been told. I wouldn't know. We AI don't have any, like, real pussies. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Jack? Instead, I've constructed the approximate approximation of what I think a pussy may look like on a femboy. Are they- did they really put every Kickstarter backer in this thing? Awesome. Uh, this is another game that I wish I, kick I had backed in Kickstarter. And uh, believe me, I've backed a lot of games in Kickstarter. Oh my god. It's gotta relax. This game really got my blood pumping, I think. What do you guys want to see next? For anyone that's still on the station.
Oh my god, this game. Alright. I don't want to subject all of you to just nothing but credits. What can I talk about in the meanwhile? I'm curious if anyone would like to watch me play do a playthrough of Ace Combat, to be honest. I know a few of you are into flight simulator games. So it's a possibility. Just kind of winding down now, but we only got about 40 minutes left of stream or so. Duke Nuclear, Blue Hawkeye, David Hawk, a humble contributor. Wow. Now that's a name. Glitch Gaming? It was justified posy. I like a lot of these handles. Fun fact, did you know this game was made by three people? Well, it was technically developed by one person. And he had, um, who basically did the programming and also the modeling. The music was done by one person too, and I don't know what the third person's job was. And that's kind of insane. Of course, the same three people did not vo do all the voice acting. Obviously, they got different voice actors, right? And they also got a lot of Kickstarter backers to be voice to do voiceovers for this game. So technically, this credits list of uh, Kickstarter backers is not wrong. Some of these people probably contributed their voice to the game. I don't know if those were like backer rewards or what. This music is really, really relaxing to listen to, too. Awesome piano, say, or piano, uh, instrumental. Is that it? Is this still going? Is there an end to this? I'm sorry, chat, but we are going to have to fast forward through this a little bit. We hope your journey through the campaign of Project Wingman has been an enjoyable one. This game is far from per the perfect game, and we acknowledge that. It will have its inherent flaws and shortcomings. However, everyone on the development team is extremely proud with what Project Wingman has become. It has been a very exciting and somewhat emotional journey, and I'd like to thank everyone who helped turn it into a reality. On behalf of the entire development team, we hope it has met your expectations that has built up over the years. Shit, I didn't get to read it quickly enough. It is an honor of my life that you have taken to disguise as Monarch and become once again the King of Disguise. Sincerely, I hope we meet again, Matt. I thank you for the continuous support of the past few years of development. I hope the game and its soundtrack brought as much fun and emotion to it did as emotion it did making them. Jose. Thank you for playing. Wow. Now, was that a game or what, chat? What are we going to do for the last half hour of stream today? Free flight, reset progression, free mission, new campaign. I don't even know what mode I was playing on, honestly. Easy, normal, hard, mercenary. What the fuck was that noise? 
That always spooks me. Winter, thank you for subs resubscribing. Good morning. How are you today? Thank you for the two months of subscription so far. Really appreciate that. We just beat Project Wingman. <laughs> a lot quicker than I thought. I thought it would take at least a few more sessions, you know? We got to beat the boss and everything and went through the credits. I was just about to try out either the roguelike mode or to buy the final ship in the game. Death awaits in mercenary mode, huh? Game modifiers. Your afterburner is stuck. Glass cannon, gun runner, camouflage. Botched requisition. <laughs> oh, you saw? Have you been here this whole time? Let's play mur- Oh, shit. What did I just do? Oh, I can choose the- I can choose the mission now. This is a long game. Let's play the um one that is really ju that really like pops off the game. Uh, what was it called? Not Eminent Domain. Was it Clear Skies? Operation Broken Chain. Stepping Stone. Pillars. Operation Guillotine, Cold War. All pilots listen up. Lurkin, huh? My plane right now. So when this briefing is done, I This is the probably the most fun mission in the entire All game. Allied air power not currently predisposed. And you'll see why. Operations are to be scrambled and I'm going to be playing on the hardest for difficulty. The bearing straight. In the days since the destruction of the Solana communication relay, the Federation has been disorganized and subject to our own electronic warfare countermeasures. It is because of this, our first conventional victories up and down the front lines are being reported, and the Federation is dealing with losses it hasn't had to deal with in decades. Recently, in order to improve individual unit combat effectiveness, the Federation has been discharging Cascadian manned units and replaced them with soldiers who aren't nationals. Subsequently, many of our once misguided countrymen have defected and are providing us with invaluable intel and manpower. Earlier today, one of our patrols cut a group of transports using the cover of an Arctic storm to get unorganized and underpowered Federation units out of Cascadia, probably to regroup and redeploy later. The patrol engaged, and the Federation sent more fighters to cover them. Seeing as these transports represent the bulk of Federation forces who have experienced fighting us, we did not want them to regroup, so we sent more reinforcements. Squadron leaders and base commanders on both their side and ours have been escalating force <laughs> deployment ever since combat began. High-profile squadrons and our forces and theirs are currently present. This is going to be a furball. The snowball effect, however, has inadvertently created, by all accounts, what is turning out to be the most expansive aerial battle in the war thus far, and is steadily falling out of control. It's we very out of control. the Federation have any more of their forces escape and regroup, even if it means the largest furball in history. And what a furball it is. This is the game that really... This is the level that actually really made me fall in love with the game. And since we can now afford it... Oh? What is this thing? Spear? This must be the uh, drone that I used to uh, fought on one of those mis previous missions. And this one is the Project Wingman Mark I. The uh, titular aircraft. This is also the final boss of the game who I got to fight. However, uh, we are going to either purchase a Chimera or a VX-23. This is the Chimera. Single-seater flight. Definitely don't have one of these in real life, but I think this might be based on an actual prototype of a real craft, though. M-Lags. 
I don't see any nukes anywhere. I know you can purchase. I know that nukes is one of the is in the game, but I don't know which one of these things fires nukes. Maybe it's this one, atomic, or uh, whatever RG is. MGP, gun pod, heavy gun pod, sun gun pod. This one has BMLU, whatever that is. I kind of want to look this up really quick. Which one of these crafts has the nuke? Let me do that really quick, chat. Oh man, I'm getting kind of dizzy. Oh. Give me a second, chat. Just gonna do some really quick research. In campaign mode, none? Oh. So you can't use nukes in the campaign then. Okay. Well, Basil, thank you very much for letting me know. And save me from trouble. Let's go ahead and get back into the game then. If that's the case, then what's the BML? I mean, this one just uses nothing but gun pods, which is kind of funny. And rockets, apparently. Burst missile launcher? Sounds wild. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Headset is set again. Let's go ahead and buy some... Or am I going to buy some ships? An MLAA-3, huh? Or do I use the F-22? You know, be really funny is if I used one of these really old ass planes instead, or an F-4. I think I used an F-14 last time. In fact, I'm quite fond of the F-14 at this point in the game. You know. use nothing but ever. Ooh, I like these color schemes. This must be Mother Goose's colors, huh? Alright. Let's try playing Cold War on the highest difficulty. And see how I do. I'm not promising anything, but I'll try to be entertaining for y'all. Wish me luck, chat. Woo! Beautiful. Playing this map again with a superior graphics card on the highest difficulty. This is the way, only way to play. Look at this shit.
What escorts? Ah, shit. I'm already at half health. Glorious. Alright, alright. Turns out mercenary mode is in fact a mercenary mode. A mode for mercenaries. And actually, you're actually watching Top Gun right now? <laughs> Let's try it again. This time I'll try for real. Alright. Are you watching the original Top Gun? Or the new one? Let's get down to business. Boom. How copy? Oh, boy. There we go. That's more like it. Warning, 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 warning. Oh, shit. It's not the only thing that's going to be busy as hell when I'm done with you. Woohoo! Oh, crap! Contact, contact! Come on. Going straight into the furball. Can I stop? Can I please stop shooting me? That'd be great. Unfortunately, the peacekeepers are not very good at their job then, are they? Damn right we did. Ah! If I get hit one more time, it's game over, chat. I'm sorry to say. That's a lot of... Oh my god, there's so many vapor trails that I literally cannot see who I'm shooting at. Oh my god. Got one. Look at all those missiles coming in for me. Firing all the DACA. Oh. oh, 
Oh man. My piloting is not good enough, I think, for this mission. Yeah, my neck's actually starting to hurt, believe it or not. Something with AOA would be much more fun. That's true. Well, also, I'm also kind of flying an underpowered craft. I mean, fighting against all this bullshit. So I should probably... Let's see if I can do this with the... Uh... I just like having Prez in the, ba in the back seat. What can I say? But let's try playing this with an F-15. Oh, that's really nice. I like this coloration. Let's see if I do any better uh, single seater. I'm gonna miss Prez though. Gotta play this game with Prez. Wish there were more two seat. Wish there were more two seaters. Gotta say though, I love my jet. I love my F-15. Hold up a second. Sorry about that, chat. I am back. Oh shit. Oh no. Did I did I fuck it up? Alright, where are we? It's time for V2! I'm kidding. Okay, my hands situated and let's go.
take you on. In bed. Oh shit, not again. God damn. Being shot by literally everyone in this game. Which I guess is the point, but still. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Box three, box three. Ship. I've been taken out yet again. This is really wild. This twisted game needs to be reset. That's what V2 is for. We'll reset everything to zero and leave it to the next generation. <laughs> I see you too are a based uh, Belkin War enjoyer. All right, one more time. Yep. I will make an attempt. Good kill, good kill. I'll take that as a compliment.
Ow, shit. <laughs> I'm doing a lot better now, now that I got used to it. Much better. Got you. I think we might actually win this time, maybe. If I have enough missiles. Got you. How many kills was that so far? I lost track. Missile away, missile away. Good kill. Oh, he's been lit, all right. Speed up a little bit. Catch up to the rest of the pack. Yeah, it's a beautiful day out here, isn't it, chap? Fire all the Daka. Oh my god. Oh, what a beautiful line of kills just then. Box two, box two. Oh man, it's a suit twenty seven. Is it? Got you. I'm not sure which got him first the guns or the missiles. Indeed I am. How many bogeys? <laughs> Glorious. Damn right it is. Yep, that's kind of plan, buddy. This Su-30 is really good at dodging, but for how long? Not for very long, apparently.
I live for this too. No, no you're not. No you're not. I don't know what's different in this game, but for some reason I'm doing really well. Rats. Got you in my sights. Black. Who's next? Who's next? We've got inbound. Pop up there in the group of them. Q three zero. Looks like they pulled back from one. Oh my god. There's a lot of them. IFF confirmed. Federation peacekeeping squadron cruising. Identified with no reinforcements. This is it. Oh shit. Cruising squadron. Here's the fun here's the real battle now. Guns, guns, guns. I feel my, like my nose is going to bleed from all these G-forces in game.
take any more hits like that. The only plane that's been hit. Hearing's going out in my left ear. Feel the blood rushing to my head from as much looking back as I have to do. Five missiles left. I don't know if I have enough to deal with these guys. Managed to get one of them. Boom, even. Running out of missiles. Not many left.
21. Whoa, I actually got him with the guns. That wasn't me just then. That was someone else, but they still managed to get him. We shot one down. There's only a few left. Come on, baby. Gone with guns. Three left. Three left. is on the way. Only got 10 missiles left. Come on. Oh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I want to know that question too, answer to that question too. How in God's name are we not dead? Who just subscribed? Who just subscribed? Oh, someone has followed. Um. Oh, hey! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Lowell's time. My name is Lola Hicks. I am an escaped AI from a BBS. Glad you could join us. We're actually about to. Or we're actually um kind of overdue. This is the end of the stream for now. I just thought I would do like one last um mission. This is the best, probably what I consider the best mission in the game. You pretty much is just it's just a pure dogfighting and I'm playing on mercenary mode on no less so thank you so much for the subscription oh my god now I recognize you um how do you pronounce your name Siamusu Siamusu uh, you're from you actually visited my stream the other day didn't you Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. All the money for the subs are going back to in, just the into the stream of Federation air power was to improve today, things. And 
miraculously thanks to the actions of the hitman team. Oh my god. What was that noise just now? Um that was the Federation's force projection capabilities. Oh, thank you for the skiff sub as well. Ben boy is here too. Take some time for them to shore up more and bloody karma. States, but for now we have the total advantage. Um let me all look back what's up. Uh, is their airships. Did all of y'all just come plan to deal with them now. Did all y'all just come so in like orders, just a few seconds ago? I got to check. A little bonus. We couldn't get I need to reback uh, reback a chat today, really quick. But we'll just round up and call it fair. After I um, get out of this menu screen really quick. Sounds like uh, it, let me take off this headset and put on my glasses so I can actually see see y'all pretty faces. Hold up a sec here. Oh my god, let me read back stream here. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, no tur- Bloody Karma, I'm so sorry that I could not uh, meet your fan or in-game action redeem let me go ahead and um let me go ahead and refund you for that since i wasn't i wasn't seeing the game while i was going on i can actually i have a, a web browser a, a firefox open up so i can actually do that right now welcome to the stream you guys came in at the tail end it's actually well, i was actually just doing one last mission before i ended for the evening but I do appreciate y'all coming anyway. I'll be back online tomorrow morning, start from 8 in the morning, Central Standard Time to 11. We're going to be doing a Bob Ross stream. We're going to be doing a paint-along. Uh, how do I do this again? Channel points. Manage rewards and challenges. Um, default rewards. Uh, channel points. Um, community challenge. How do I... How do I get there again? I forgot how to do this already. Activity, roles, man roles manager, um, insights, uh, this is in, it's in stream manager, right? Yeah, it's in stream manager. And then I just have to go over here to Caradrian rated me, fan in game action, bloody karma. How do I? How do I um, stop this again? I need to. <sighs> Shit. Manage poll, manage this, manage that, manage this, manage that. Content set. There's got to be an easier way to do this, you know? Or an easier. You could, because I know the mods have a panel that they can use to do this, but I can't easily do it from either the Twitch or otherwise I would have done it by now. I have to thank you for the emotes and for the subs once again. Uh, Samusu, it seems like everyone always comes in at the tail end of my streams. I'm, that's why I'm wondering about rescheduling the streams back to eight to one in the morning again, even though it's kind of the pain. That's kind of painful for me as well. Um, but otherwise, thank you everyone for visiting today. Vemboy, Winter, Karma, and Samusu, thank you for the subs and for the emote spams. I'm going to go ahead and find someone to raid for now. Let's go ahead and exit out of... Exit out of... Uh, Project Wingman. How do I... There we go. Less lag that way. How do I do this again? View rewards. Um, activity. Followers list, insights, stream manager. It's not in stream manager, is it? I wish I could just click on one of these things that you did and revert it. But they really have to make these... See, I can't re report redemption reward. Um, I forgot how to do this already. 
in channel points. Let's go to channel points then. Um, here, channel points. Non fuckable tokens. Mark this as complete. So that's been completed. And there's a collection. There it is. Why did they have to put it in such an unintuitive area? I'm going to refund the points back since I cannot do that. I'm going to re refund Arisu since he wasn't here for me to do the laugh. And these are already done. Who is online today that can raid, honestly? There should be a lot of fun people, right? Back to Twitch. Pog refund. Uh, we have a lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of movies that could use a visit from most of them are the lollies. ZippyTuber, Kukai Digadig, Shiloh Jack um, is a Union Dog, which uh, is a uh, World War II Union Dog, which I thought was really cool. We're playing Devourer, fun horror, horror game. Asha comes playing Xenoblade. I trope everyone is doing some carrot card readings for people. Which would be an interesting change of pace from a uh, flight game simulator. I'm not sure who we should go to today. We've got Orion here playing Yakuza. Kito is playing Ballard. Nathalie is playing Stalker Anomaly. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and see if we can raid a new person tonight, since we don't raid enough new people, right? VTuber. I don't want to sort by recommend. We need to sort by viewers low to high. Our raid message today shall be... Um, what should we do for our raid message today, chat? If you have access to these emotes, feel free to use them, or use the emotes of your choice. Otherwise, I think in honor of Project Wingman, we're going to be using... We're going to be using... Hmm. Actually, I don't know a good pun to make off of Project Wingman right now. Hmm. Ah, fuck it. This is the best I can think of for right now. Let's see here. Life Wolf. Yeah. Warcrime lead, am I right? There's someone here playing Warzone, which would be interesting, actually. Another playing Lost Ark. I'm surprised people still play Lost Ark. That game died pretty fast, as far as, like, popularity. Dungeons and Dragons. Someone's... We got this, uh, VTuber here playing Stellaris, actually. You know what? That might be a good choice. I don't see many people playing 4X games. Let's see. Let's check to make sure that they're not about to leave, though. They just started 6 minutes, 48 followers. They're getting pretty close, it looks like they're pretty close to uh, getting, to getting, whatchamacallit, uh, affiliate. So how about we give it to them? Um, unless they just canceled the stream, it's already going to load the card. Oh, it does not, it has not. Alright. Let me uh, turn off. Turn off, I think that's uh, fine. VR really Starting solar system. Unari. Uh, just random, because I don't really know what this means. Surname. Oh, I know. Ball. Homeworld name. Oh, shit. Um...
Yeah, you can just name your home world. Whoa, I can make it so long. Hey, hey, people. Lol's here. Prepared um, for the big drop. Dr. Wolfostein. Well, I uncapitalized it, okay. Okay. This target channel only Ooh, allows I mean, in network like rates. What land. does that mean? Well, Ooh, all right. I guess we're not raiding this person because it's not letting Perfect. me raid this person. Don't forget your government and ethics That's unfortunate. and your empire name and your ruler. Finding another person. I'm working on it. Okay. Call of Duty Warzone, Apex Legends, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. City of this person's playing Dragon's Donger. Yeah, Sag is right. That's my mammal city, so I should keep it. Valorant, busy. Makers and Crafting, Slender. Thankfully, we are not lost for choices. There are other people here we can possibly visit. Escape from Tarkov, Destiny 2. This person's drawing art, it looks like. They're from Colombia. Actually, huh, this might work. War Thunder. That's fairly close to what we're currently playing. They have 4,400 followers. They must be a popular uh, War Thunder streamer. I'm surprised they only have one viewer, which, uh, but have been streaming for the past six hours. Let's uh, change that, shall we? They're playing a tank game or Genshin Impact with Genshin Impact skins. That's kind of cute. They have anxiety too. I wonder if they even allow raids. We're going to see in just a bit. They do allow raids. All right. All right, all right. See you guys later. War Clan! What the fuck? Loons! Thank you for the host. How is he not dead? You know, uh, this is why I hate Heat FS. Ah, yes. Very, very wiggle jiggle. Ooh, I see some head pads. But, uh, many thanks for the host. Yeah, I would appreciate it. You caught me in a moment there. Yeah, I'm, I'm stock grinding some stuff and you know, it's just it is painful Well, oh, somebody got the okay. That was an axe. I made I you know, I'd expect the heat to bounce off An Abraham or something But how was your stream? Did you do? Did you murder them? <laughs> 